When I was a child, I grew up on a beach, and when I was 14, I bought a camera. So I've always been in and out of the water. But the key thing with water is that it becomes everything. It's your body, it's our food, and anything that's living on this planet needs water. And I think that people are a bit distracted by the fact that it comes magically out of a tap, when in fact it's a much more complex thing. So for my project, I've tried to focus on the smaller observations of water that make up the whole water system. And often these things are not noticed or, or passed by, but it's the, the, the combination of these small things making the, the, the greater picture of our water and our environment. And I started this project, Water the Essential, as a photographic project to raise awareness for water issues around the world. And recently I teamed up with uh, the Water Survival Box because there's nothing more essential than after a disaster not having water and not having shelter. Since we've teamed up, we had the opening foundation of the Swiss Water Survival Box in Lucerne and they raised over 40,000 francs and they're able to ship 220 boxes to the Caribbean. At the moment, there is no shortage of natural disasters. We've got the hurricanes in America, we've got an earthquake in Mexico and we've also got 40 million people in Bangladesh and Nepal that are now struggling with being homeless and having access to clean drinking water. Yeah, Rotary has a, a keen interest in, in water. It's one of the areas of focus. Um, obviously, when there's any disasters around the world, whether it is um, the uh, flooding, you don't have safe water, you just have too much of the wrong water, droughts um, and uh, earthquakes uh, are some of the incidents where you need safe water brought into the area as quickly as possible. And uh, the water survival boxes do just that. Um, there's an amazing synergy with the Water the, water, the Essentials, which is this um, uh, art exhibition, photographic exhibition, so there's a real, real synergy here. I'm the founder chairman of the Rotary Water Survival Box Project, which is run by my Rotary Club, it's called Chelwood Bridge and it's in Somerset. So how long has this been going on? How, how long have you been? Uh, the project uh, was, became a registered charity in 2006, so we are now in our 11th year uh, of delivering aid around the world. We've responded to 54 disasters in that time in 28 different countries around the world and we've sent 13,500 boxes out, each one of which is capable of saving the lives of a family, primarily because of the water purification kit that is designed to uh, protect them against waterborne disease. So what's in the box? Right, number one is the Aquafilter. Uh, it's a commercial product, we buy that in. Uh, but that will deliver 100,000 litres of clean water. What it means is that a family of five people will each get 10 litres every day for five years. Now, another way of looking at it is to say, if people having been displaced are now in a refugee camp situation, that same bit of equipment will deliver the same volume of water and cater for 100 people for three months. So each of them gets 10 litres every day for three months. Then on top of that, we have a range of what we call essential survival items. Number one after the water is uh, means of keeping clean. Health and hygiene items are vital. Soap, toothpaste, toothbrushes, uh, bandages, plaster, things of that sort. Then after that, Items with which to feed yourself and to drink. So it's a kitchen set and it includes a large and a medium sized cooking pot, a frying pan, bowls, 
plates, knives, forks, spoons, a big ladle, very sharp kitchen knife, and all that we import in a pack from India. So how do you deliver the boxes? The boxes are sent by air because for the very purpose of saving lives, we need to get them there as quickly as possible. Uh, having said that, we have to also make sure that they will be allowed entry into the country concern. So we have to get prior permission to clear customs on arrival. And we have to work with a reliable organization at the other end. Quite often that is Rotary, but not always. And sometimes Rotary is not best placed. So we work with Red Cross societies, we work with Oxfam, we work with Save the Children, we work with UNICEF, and of course Rotary. And probably my preferred NGO is Humanity First, a UK-based one. We've worked them seven or eight times now in different parts of the world, and they always deliver. In fact, all the people we work with always give me the full virtuous circle, so I can prove to the donors what we've done afterwards. This one's not been open, but... Just to demonstrate this, the, uh, th this would normally sit in the bottom of the box, okay? The box is now filled with water, which is probably flood water, or water from a river or a stream, and that's all that's available. The normal well water has been taken out, or it's been flooded with salt water, and they can't use that. So we now put that in the bottom. There's a filter in the base. So the first filter is here, and then the, the, the membrane through which the water is pumped, sucked up through here, if I can release this a minute, if I can. I have, this one's not been opened up, right. So you, 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 you pump the, okay? You see the, the pump mechanism? You pump it down, up and down, up and down. Water then will come out, and the clear and safe drinking water will oops, come out of this, the blue tube. The red tube, which stays secure, allows for wastewater which because it's there builds up the pressure so that it does enable you to pump water through here okay now that's obviously that's still left over from the testing procedure but uh, we haven't previously used that one and that's it's as simple as that that will deliver something like 90 liters an hour if somebody wants to sit there for an hour pumping but it will do 10 liters each for each member of a family of five every day for five years so that's how good it is and it's been tested and they, when I say five years we know that because the manufacturers have had them in use in Western Africa, in the Gambia and other countries in Western Africa for way beyond five years. So that's it.